I have long hair now. I'm a long hair lady. I'm good. How are you, Looney? 25. Hello, Kate. <laughs> what time is it? Ooh, it's so late. Oh no. I have a class in half an hour. I didn't realize it was so late. I'm a long haired lady. Yeah, I thought it was earlier. Like I've been doing stuff that I don't want to share because I might jinx it. And also there's always people with negative comments about it. And I don't want to ruin, I don't want them to ruin my um, mood. Miss late and long haired. No soy española. Hey, hey, bits. Oh, how are you? I'm nervous now. Yeah, I don't want them to ruin my vibe because every time I have good news, there's someone that it's like bringing all the negative stuff. You know what I mean? Like when I was like, oh, I got my Canadian visa and someone's like, but you don't have the US one or stay in your country while you're coming here, you know, that kind of stuff like not gonna go and do that ever again. How is life in quarantine treating you, Adriana? I mean, my life's been the same, guys. <laughs> Just remember, I don't have a car. I don't have a regular job. Um, I don't have a lot of friends. So, nothing new. Look how freezy my hair is. What? I, I, is that a song? As long as you have your health. Yeah, I think that's important. <laughs> Who's gonna drive you home tonight? Thank you, medic. Hola. Do I look tired? I feel like I'm tired. Oh. Have a lot of projects. I'm not gonna tell you about that because like I say, I want you to ruin my vibe, but I have it in this notebook. So I'm being like, just because I have four projects that are not easy to do. And it's taking a lot of my energy. You look normal. <laughs> Do you have a project with Anuel? No. Yes, look that way for a little while. Why? Hola, Wayne. I have a class with you in just a few minutes. I thought it was earlier and I didn't realize it was that late. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about the watermelon thingy because the last time I talked about that, someone came here and said like, why are you not charging money for that? You don't do that for free. Everything costs money. Like say fuck it and don't do it. And you know, ruining again. So not gonna go with that topic. How do you be gentle? <laughs> I'm not gonna be gentle because I'm strict teacher. Uh, I think 
I try to teach more speaking because that's the most difficult part. Like a lot of people know how to read in Spanish and they know how to write as well. Like it's easier to write and, and, and read, but when they have to speak, that's when they like get freaked out. So I force people to speak with me and I give them just like the base and then I force them to speak and I speak with them slowly. I mean, if you're a beginner, I go slow with you. But it depends on their level and their interest. Do you think so? Nice to see you. You just have to yell at them. Habla español. Do you teach Spanish baby talk? Oh, that sucks. Do you teach people that literally don't know any Spanish at all? Yeah, I do. I can tell you're a good teacher. Oh, thank you. And if they can stay awake long enough after work to take a Spanish class, in my case, <laughs> Mm, I don't know how to help you with that, Kitty. No, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> no hands on face. I just feel like, oh, I've been like way too much in front of the computer. It's killing me. It's killing me. Tooth model in action. Stupid quarantine. I have gotten to work from home one damn day yet. You need to escape. Escape where? You need to buy blue light blocking glasses. Nice teeth. Do people in Guatemala say vosotros or ustedes? Ustedes. We don't use vosotros. Vosotros is only for Spain. You know, Spain, the country in Europe. They use vosotros. They have the basically the real Spanish. That's the origin of the whole language. I don't have any news. I say I'm, I won't share anything with you guys. <laughs> That's like medieval. Oh gosh, I need like a surgery or something. I need to look more young or Chinese. I don't want to look in Asian. As long as I don't have wrinkles. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Hands off face. Oh guys, I just um, feel so tired. No surgery needed. Trust me, I do need surgery. I think you should make vosotros cool again. <laughs> that sounds like Trump. Ooh, coffee, that would be amazing. Do you think I have time for a coffee, Wayne? Why, what do you think? Can I go for a coffee first and then we can have the class? I need just surgery to make my face like look younger to remove all my scars especially this one this one and this one and i do have scars in here as you can see like very deep scars everywhere i do have scars in here as well so i need a laser like to erase all of this and i want to get boobs and i want to get a big ass and I want to make my nose look like this. We all have scars and they make us unique. No, you don't understand. You say that because you're men and men are allowed to have scars. 
and women are not allowed because if you have scar face you're like not pretty like you have to have baby skin so you can look very young and attractive and if you don't have that you're not attractive and blah 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 you do know if you did that i would have to unsubscribe like michael jackson so and and everything perfect who's that kardashian okay I mean, I'm lying. Obviously, I wouldn't get all that surgery. But I do want the laser thing. That's something I do want. I want to remove all my scars. Like this one, especially. This one, this one. And all the ones that you can see in here. And this ones as well. Just whew, erase forever. <laughs> Whistle. Where are the scars from? Uh, this one's the chicken pox, chicken pox, I don't know how to pronounce that, chicken something, you know, that sickness that you have when you're like a kid, I was, yeah, chicken pox, when I was five I got that and I just did something I shouldn't do, 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 these things, and then the ones that I have here are acne scars, you know like when you touch your face too much and you have like pimples and you like remove it when you're not supposed to remove it I have scars from acne all over my face and I do think I have one here too I have two here ah, it's terrible that doesn't remove scars uh, I need laser like at this point nothing it's going to remove this deep scars but laser which is so expensive like extremely expensive and that's basically what I want the most like if we talk about superficial things and physical changes that we like to have I would want to have a laser treatment to remove all my scars. At least try to remove the scarring because it does affect me like in my self-esteem every single day, every time I see myself in the mirror, it's like ugh, ugh, ugh. over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Well, I hope this coronavirus thing ends someday and I can just go out and feel like, whoa, I have a beautiful skin. And I don't look like a gangster. No, I'm not, not a gangster. Like I'm a part of a gang, you know? I, I look like that because it looks like when you have a lot of scars in your face, it's like tough life. She had a tough life. She wasn't like one of those girls that are like, uh -huh, I did this and, and I put this for my skin because it's so good. No, she was tough. She was like being ugly and obviously it, it's not true. Yeah, Adriana from the hood. Like maybe someone hit me and, and tried to put a knife in me and like I fight it and then I got this old scars. I don't think I'm the only one who pays attention on my skin. I'm pretty sure guys do. Yeah, I'm starting a drama class too. Do you want to join? Quarantine, day 33. <laughs> Chimichurri. Ariana uh, Haina from the hood. Haina. Pe Maybe people see it in person, but honestly never eat a parent on the phone. Yeah, in person, it's worse. You should put a mask, especially if they haven't found a cure of coronavirus. I mean, I guess I do have a boyfriend, so I guess he doesn't care about my skin. As long as I have a boyfriend, someone loves me.
but still I would like to have a baby skin I'm not gonna lie no one loves me I got lucky honestly I was thinking I spent $80 for a ticket, I never buy stuff that expensive. That's very expensive for me for a ticket to a party. Like I never buy tickets for a party. And if they're, I mean, they were a they were forty dollars each, but I bought one for my friend, so it was eighty dollars at the end. So I thought that was a lot for a party. And then I, she couldn't come to the party. She said like, oh, I'm sorry, I have to take care of my kids. I cannot go to the party with you. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I went to the party and I spent $80 basically for nothing because she didn't come with me. And that's where I met my boyfriend. So I thought, well, those $80 were, were worth it because I got a boyfriend out of it. So the message is don't be cheap don't be cheap <laughs> i think that's the message don't be cheap because you can spend money and maybe you will find your future boyfriend girlfriend maybe i'm, I'm not saying that it's going to happen but it was the first time i spent that amount of money in a party that I was going to go by myself. So. You should spend your money to have fun, for sure. <laughs> A fortune, well. Maybe I will spend it when I get old so they can remove wrinkles and scars all at the same time. <laughs> Aww, dogs are like the best creations of the world. Like there's nothing better than doggies. Doggies! I mean animals in general. You know I love animals facelifts <laughs> of course i will have all those things that makes your make your face like this and you cannot even smile anymore like <laughs> my stupid cat got hyper three and whatever 1300 to irradiate that's expensive so I think I'm gonna go and get a coffee do you mind thank you Wayne <laughs> to get stoned with me yeah it was I think I'm kind of like hyper or something I don't know. Maybe I'm in drugs already. <laughs> Can I have a cappuccino with almond milk, please? Thank you. <laughs> you are so kind. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> $60 a month on my dog's favorite treats. Oh, your dog looks so cute. So cute. <laughs> You're not right. <laughs> I know that's your dog. It looks so adorable. I love his face expression like he looks so happy that makes me happy like really like seeing happy dogs gives me happiness for real the cabin fever is getting to adri day day quarantine got the better of my dress <laughs> stop it guys i'm normal this is who i am normally okay <laughs> 
I love having the kitty and the dog. I, I have two dogs and one kitty in my scope right now. It's so cute. Oh, Brian Griffin, like the family guy dog. My cat just look hungry in this pic. <laughs> you normally pull back your face and go ha 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 ha. He was like, fit me bastard. Uh, what do you mean <laughs> like this? I normally do that. <laughs> Take a picture. Hurry. You didn't. So you lost it. Now you cannot sell that picture when I get famous. Woo! <laughs> Wait, you can replay this and take a picture. No, I'm not gonna let you. I'm just gonna hide the scope and you're never gonna see this again. <laughs> that picture wasn't that bad. You, you missed it. Okay, I need to hurry up because Wayne is going to kill me because he's such a angry man he's like why are you late this is spanish lesson you're the worst teacher i've ever had obviously it's not true he's such a nice person <laughs> oh god i need to stop making faces because that's making me look even older and I'm getting worried about my skin and my wrinkles. Stop it, kitty. I just saw you send a picture about me. You are mean. Mean boy. Mean kitty. <laughs> yes, I am. <sighs> okay. Maybe I'll come back with my craziness another time. I hope you missed me, guys. Some people like text me and say that they missed my scopes and that made me feel happy. And I don't know why, because this is so boring. But thank you. So I'll see you next time. And if you have any idea to, you know, make it fun, other than take pictures of me when I make weird faces. Let me know. <laughs> Even if I come from a gang. Edry from the hood. Because scars, baby. Scars everywhere. These scars are from f street fightings. I fight on the street and this is what happened. Don't fight on the streets, guys. Okay? Don't do it because you're going to get scars. Just like me. You're going to get to prison. Just like me. Every scar is a person that I've killed. Yeah. That's true. Peace out, guys. <laughs>